If you're just starting your video production company or you just want some inspiration when it comes to your kit, you come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I take on my corporate gigs, specifically for talking head stuff, testimonials, you know the deal. Stick around. My name is Don Witherspoon and I am an independent video business owner based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Now before we get to my kit, if you hear some revving up in the background, it's landscaping going on outside. My current camera kit consists of two FX30s. Now my A camera is usually rigged up, like you see right here, with the 20 millimeter F1.8 Sony G lens, which gives a field of view of about 30 millimeters. On top of that, I use my Atomos Shinobi to monitor what's going on, as well as a VB99 by Small Rig to power it all up. If you want information on my full rig, I'll link the video down in the description below where you can take a look at my compact rig video. My B camera is typically a stripped down FX30 with the Sigma Art 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Now I can't show you that right now because I am currently shooting on it right there. Speaking of this camera here, it is a A7 IV, which I typically bring on set with me just in case anything was to happen to either of these cameras to use for some BTS stuff and to take photos if that is a part of the deliverables. For audio, I run an AT875R, which is boomed overhead and it goes directly into the Zoom H6, which is attached to my tripod via a friction arm. That Zoom H6 goes directly into my A camera and I use that for my audio. Matter of fact, let me show you what it looks like. So this isn't much different from what I do on corporate shoots, specifically because it's just talking head. So here we go. Right here we have the AT875R, which goes down into the Zoom H6 on a friction arm, on a tripod, which goes directly into my A camera. Now, admittedly, this is not the tripod that I take with me on shoot, but inside the studio here, it's all fair game. For redundancy, I use a DJI lab system that I got right here, plugged directly into my B cam, and I also use a lav mic that I got from Comica back in 2019 before they were cool, and I'm sure I overpaid for it. Let's talk about lighting. But before I get to the specifics, I want you to see exactly how I'm using this Aperture 120D case to facilitate the transportation of my current kit. Now we're gonna go back to this good old trusty handy dandy phone. Check this out. So as you can see on the inside, I have two lights that fits snugly in here that I could just close up and take with me along the way. Specifically, I am using the Amaran 200DS as my key light, and I usually use this with the aperture lantern and the skirt so that I'm able to better control the spill. For my second light, out the way. For my second light, I use the 100XS. Now, I use this as my here light or backlight with or without the hyper reflector dish in order to best point that light where I need it to be, which is usually on the back of the head and things of that nature. So, the best part about using these Amaran lights is that they are able to be used with the Citus Link app. And one of the best features on the Citus Link app is the ability to match color, which works well if you're working in a space where you cannot control the house lights, you can simply match color to ensure that you have proper white balance. Because I don't have a dedicated field light in my kit, what I tend to use is a five in one reflector. Now, check this out. I'm gonna open this up and hopefully I'll be able to close it back down. Whoop, there we go. So the black side negative, I spoke about this in my lighting video before, which I will link down in the description if you're curious on how you can get a similar lighting set up to this. And if you wanna learn about how I use lighting, you know with the black side, the negative side, it tends to increase the shadows, right? And then if we were to flip this over and use the silver side, for instance, it should raise the shadow. See, so got a little bright over here. And so I keep that in my kit. And of course I have all the sticks and clips necessary for all the gear that I mentioned here today. Tell me, where are you currently in your career? And what do you typically take with you on set? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for taking out your time to stick around with me here. And I hope you feel as if it was a good use of your time. And I'll see you in the next one. Love.